But first, manta rays and their close relatives are incredibly elegant swimmers and very efficient at getting around. That's right. So what makes them so good at what they do? That question is the focus of a program at the University of Virginia, and it is also the focus of this week's inventor segment. What is this? It moves like, well, like you should really get out of the water. Okay, so it's not real, but it's part of the University of Virginia's project studying how types of rays swim. So in really two, three flaps, it gets to steady state. I mean, it's almost like a real animal starting from rest, I guess. Because manta rays are elegant and agile, and uh, we wanted to understand how we can get inspiration from nature to build things that are elegant and agile and can be efficient. And they got that inspiration and information a couple of ways. They discovered the biomechanics through x-rays. There is a very complex cartilage structure that supports the fin for these animals. And it's composed of a series of cartilage joints, which are these white dots here. Then turn to the real thing. This is the actually half of a countos ray fin uh, with half of the body here and then the fin itself. <clears throat> that flap starts somewhere around in this area. And so we have the, uh, the counter's ray robot in front of us. And uh, what we get from this, from biology, is the actual plant form shape that you see of the fin here. We'll see how surprisingly lifelike that model swims in a minute. But first, back to the fin. From the research, grad researcher Trevor Kemp created the mock ray fin and tried to make it move like the real thing. I'm looking at the speed that it's swimming up the channel, and I'm looking at the amount of power that's being put into uh, actually just moving the fin. The team worked together, but not to make a model exactly like rays, but one inspired by how they move. So their fins have skeletal arms, while rays are actually supported by cartilage. So as you can see, it's uh, very soft, doesn't resist the motion. There's a little bit of play right there at the neutral position, but it uh, resists loads. And then here it is flapping at one hertz. Another goal of the team, to find out the order of movement. Does a ray's brain tell the body in the water how to move, or is it the other way around? It's chicken or the egg. Which way? One could argue it goes the other way. But we have sort of shown conclusively through some studies that it really goes from water to the brain. So the water's interaction with the body starts movement, and the brain then kicks in so it doesn't interfere between the ray's shape and the water environment. But for further real-life testing of how their fish works in the water, everyone to the pool. Their model, although not an exact skeletal replica of the animal, is still quite convincing. It was so lifelike, it was very surprising. I was expecting it to happen. Yeah, I mean, no like mechanical movements or anything. Yeah. And it's pretty elegant in its own right, even if some humans aren't so much. To be fair, he's not a professional athlete, but this team understands exactly what it takes to get excellent, efficient swim strokes. Think about doggy paddle versus Michael Phelps in swimming pool. So manta rays are much closer to Actually, they're better than Michael Phelps. <laughs> a few more experiments with maneuverability. I want to change the amplitude a little bit higher, so um, I wish it swim faster. And then we do a little bit of right turn. And time for just one more test. The first time their model has raced a human. Okay, maybe speed is the one thing they still need to work on. Okay, time to see what's trending.